The perfect MCAT study schedule does exist. Stage two, you will either use Khan Academy or UWorld to do lots of practice messages and really understand what the MCAT is about and to fill in those knowledge gaps. You will also take three to four full length. Hello everybody, if you're new here, my name is Khamis Suleiman and I have great news for pre -meds. In addition to the content that I've been creating on Neuroinspiration, where I talk about neuroscientific and psychological concepts that apply to everyday life, I will start talking about the pre -med years. I've been kind of doing some one-on-one -on -one mentoring with friends and classmates, but I feel that through Neuroinspiration, I can benefit much more students. Today, I want to give you a study schedule that will help you navigate your way through this tough and difficult exam. So if you're a pre-med student or plan on becoming a pre-med, then go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can get an update with all my content regarding the MCAT and the pre-med years in general. Before I begin, I would like to briefly talk about myself, and I hope that these words will serve as a source of encouragement for you. I didn't graduate at the top of my high school class. I didn't take AP classes in high school. I didn't go to a top tier university. As a matter of fact, I started at a community college, yet I was still able to get a 94th percentile score of 517. So through hard work and dedication, you can score well on the MCAT, which will increase your chances of getting into the medical school that you want. And also, stay tuned for when I announce where I'll be going for medical school this fall once I decide. The first rule, and the most important rule in the study schedule, is that you do not have to follow it word for word. We each have our unique life circumstances, so feel free to substitute certain things to make it more convenient for you. The study schedule that I created is composed of three stages. Stage one is content review. The first question that pops up here is, how long should I spend on content review? And when should I move on to doing practice passages? My answer to that is, how well do you think you know the content? Only you can know this about yourself. Do you feel like you have a solid foundation in Gen Chem, Biology, Physics, and the rest of the courses that are on the MCAT? Did you perform well in these prerequisite classes? If you feel like you have a good grasp of the material in these classes, then spend only one month on content review. If you feel like you struggled with these classes, then you might want to spend two to two and a half months on content review. The next natural question is how long should I be studying every day. And again, this varies. However, if you are spending only one month on content review, then you should be dedicating five to seven hours per day for the MCAT. If you plan on spending two months, then you should try to dedicate three to four hours per day on average to not burn yourself out by the time you get to stages two and three of the study schedule. Now, what book should you use? I strongly encourage against the set of seven books from Kaplan or the Princeton Review. I feel like they overwhelm students and I also feel that they have too much information. I would recommend that you use a book from the Princeton Review that combines all the subjects covered on the MCAT in one book. This book is much cheaper, shorter, and it cuts right to the chase with the important material. It also comes with four practice exams. It's called the Princeton Review MCAT. I will provide a link to it in the description box. In fact, you will find a link to all the resources that I mentioned in the description box. I would also like to mention that you should skip the car section in this book. I feel like it's not that helpful. I will be dedicating a special video to the car section, so make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell to get an update on that. The last thing I would like to mention during this stage is that you should take one to two full length practice exams. And I got bad news for you. You will perform poorly on this first practice exam. Don't be discouraged. You are just taking this practice test to get a feel for what the MCAT is. You can use the free Kaplan or Princeton full length exams that you'll find on their websites. I'll also link them in the description box. One very important thing regarding this stage is that you have to know when to move on. Students often get stuck on doing content review. It's better to err on the side of having gaps in your knowledge of the content than to spend too much time reviewing content. And that's because you will be filling in these gaps in the next stages. That concludes the first stage. I will be making more videos where I will go in detail on every step of this stage. The second stage consists of intensive practice passages and practice exams. During this stage, you want to start understanding what the MCAT is about. You want to develop strategies of your own for how to tackle the passages of each section. I highly recommend UWorld for this stage. 
If you don't know what URL is, it's a website that gives you a huge amount of practice passages in all of the sections, and the great thing about it is that it gives the best explanations for each question. This will really help you fill in those gaps in your content knowledge. The problem is that the subscription is about $250, so if you can't afford it, then you can use Khan Academy. They have lots of passages, but the problem with Khan Academy is that their descriptions aren't the best. So to fill in the gaps in your knowledge, you might have to be going back and forth to the book that you used for content review. During this phase, you should take three to four full lengths to really start building that stamina. You can use the full lengths from the Princeton review that you got with the free book that I talked about. The only thing with taking full lengths during this stage is that you should not be discouraged if you performed poorly because you are still trying to understand the exam. Your goal should be to see an upward trend in your scores. The third and final stage is really similar to stage two, but it's unique in that you want to start with the AAMC material. They have several deals, so check out which one you can afford and purchase it. The reason why I emphasize the AAMC material is because it's identical, it's almost identical to the actual exam because it's made by the company that writes the exam. So if you need to make some sacrifices to be able to buy the AAMC material, I highly recommend you do. Think about it, the MCAT is one of the major factors that influence your acceptance to medical school, so it's worth investing in if you can. So during this stage, continue to take practice passages from UWorld, Khan Academy, or the AAMC, and take three to four practice exams from the AAMC. Let your last full length be at least three days before testing. You don't want to burn out right before testing. So that concludes my study schedule. Stay tuned for more study tips for the MCAT and more tips on the pre med years in general. Don't forget to subscribe. To summarize the schedule, it consists of three stages. Stage one is composed of content review plus one to two practice exams. The length of this stage will range from one month to two months and a half, depending on how well you knew the content before starting to study. Stage two, you will either use Khan Academy or UWorld to do lots of practice passages and really understand what the MCAT is about and to fill in those knowledge gaps. You will also take three to four full lengths. Stage three, you will use the AAMC material, Khan Academy or UWorld to do practice passages and you will make a necessary purchase of full length exams from the AAMC. Take three to four full lengths in the last month leading to test day. During stages two and three, you want to dedicate extra time for the MCAT. So if you're spending anywhere from like four to six hours on content review, then in stages two and three, you really want to try to go up to seven or eight hours per day if you can. If not, then you want to try to maintain what you were uh, doing content review. Good luck to you all and be sure to check out my non pre med inspirational videos to gain some inspiration as you embark on this journey. And subscribe for more on the pre med years and remember the sky is the limit.